Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We just hit 70 subs. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot, and I hope I can continue to make content you guys want to see in the future. Now, on Friday night, there is a good game in the American Conference between Houston going on the road at Memphis. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now, Houston, Dana Holgerson, he is 2-3 and three to start this season, and they've had a tough go of it because they've had a tough schedule. They beat Texas San Antonio 37-35 on the road in overtime, and that was a great win. They got the win at the end with Clayton Toon. He dove into the end zone, but then they lost at Texas Tech 33-30 in overtime, and that was a game that went the other way. They won a close one in overtime, and this one they lost a close one in overtime. Then they lost to upstart Kansas 48-30. Kansas playing a lot better. So that was a game probably when it was scheduled that they, Houston probably thought they would win. But Kansas is playing a lot better. Then they beat Rice 34-27. to And then they lost to Tulane 27-24 to in overtime. So they've had three overtime games. They've lost two of them, and they won one of them. And I picked Houston to beat Tulane, but they just could not get it done. So that, again, they're, the Houston can play. They're a good team, but they've had a tough schedule, and they've just been on the wrong side of a lot of these close games. Quarterback Clayton Toon. He had 208 yards, two touchdowns, and he had 56 rushing yards against Tulane. He's a really good quarterback, but again, something just seems maybe a hair off with Houston. I think part of it's the tough schedule, but they got all a lot of their players from last year, and they got a lot of talent, but they're just not finding ways to win. Running back Brandon Campbell at 66 yards and a touchdown against Tulane. Wide receiver Nathaniel Tank Dell, he's the heart and soul of the offense. 73 yards, two touchdowns against Tulane. Tulane tried to stop him, but he still played well. Wide receiver Keyshawn Carter at 41 yards against Tulane. And on the defensive side of the ball, defensive back Abdul Latif Adu had seven tackles. Defensive lineman J. Michael Neal had four tackles. Defensive back Alex Hogan had four tackles. Linebacker Ronald Nunnery had three tackles. Defensive back Thabo Milwaukee had three tackles. And defensive lineman DeAnthony Jones had two tackles. So Houston, they're playing decent defense this season. Unfortunately, they're giving up a lot of points. But Texas Tech and Kansas, those are teams that, and UTSA as well, they score a lot of points. A lot of teams that they're playing are just really good at offense, so it's kind of hard to tell how good Houston's defense really is. But Houston is putting up points. Again, they're just not finding ways to win. Over on the Memphis side, Ron Silverfield, they are 4-1 and one to start the season. And Memphis is playing good football outside of their first loss to the season. They lost 49-23 to at Mississippi State. Mississippi State's playing very well. They just beat Texas A&M, so no surprise there that you lose. Then they beat Navy 37-13 at Navy. That's a good win. It's always tough to beat the Armed Forces schools like that. They beat Arkansas State 44-32, to and then they beat North Texas 44-34, to and then they beat Temple 24-3. to So outside of the Mississippi State game, Memphis has not really been tested too, too much, and that's why they are now 4-1. and Quarterback Seth Hennigan, he was a freshman last year, and this year he's playing a lot better, even better than he was last year. He was good last year, and but they only went 6-6. Six and six. Memphis definitely looks like a better team now because he's a year older. He had 195 yards and a touchdown and had 60 rushing yards against Temple. Running back Aza Martin at 52 yards against Temple. Running back Brandon Thomas at 20 yards and a touchdown against Temple. So Memphis's running game needs to do a little bit better, but still... They do have two backs that can get it done. Tight end Caden pre-scoring at 40 yards and a touchdown against Temple. Wide receiver Rock Taylor at 38 yards against Temple. So Memphis' offense is playing well to start the season. They put up a lot of points. Now on the defensive side of the ball, linebacker Zay Collins had five tackles and an interception against Temple. Defensive back Greg Rubin had five tackles. Defensive back Sylvanta Oliver had four tackles. Defensive lineman Ward Dallas Ducksworth had two tackles. And linebacker Sincere Evans had two tackles and an interception. So again, Memphis' defense playing well. Their offense is playing well too. So who do I think is going to win this game? This game is at Memphis. And again, when you have a close, close comparison between two teams, as I usually say, it's usually you pick the home team. Houston, however, has a lot of talent. As we know, Nathaniel Tank Dell, quarterback Clayton Toon, and obviously Dana Holgerson is a good coach, but they've lost a lot of close games this year. And when you lose a lot of close games, you can lose your confidence. Memphis, this is a home game, as I've said before. And Ron Silverfield has his team rolling after losing to Mississippi State. And they've won four in a row. And Memphis's defense is playing a little bit better than Houston's defense to start the season. And I think Memphis's offense is playing a little bit better than Houston's offense. Even though I think Houston has the better offense, Memphis has been playing better on offense to start the season. I think Memphis is going to win this game 38-35. to I think Houston can win. But Houston, just to me, they don't have enough confidence. 
They've lost a little bit of confidence, losing all these close games, and Memphis has won four in a row. I think Memphis is going to make it five in a row, and I think Ryan Silverfield and Memphis is going to be Dana Holgerson in Houston, 38-35. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about this Houston-Memphis game and who you think is going to win and why, and I will see you next time.